Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new series. It's Wednesday and look at this seed. You guys might want to pause the screen or something and write this seed down because it is time for Bendo Craft Series 2. You heard me. I have said before that I wasn't really I had much passion for Bendo Craft Series 1 and I didn't really want to continue on that. Bendercraft Series 2 is not going to be like that. This is going to be easier, funner, and I'm going to try and keep on this for a while. Like, Bendercraft Series 1, that went for 7 episodes, and pretty much every episode was a bit boring. And I'm hoping for this one to be funner. And as you can see, I've already... I already know what this sort of area looks like. I haven't, like, really explored it like I've seen this in a testing world and I really enjoyed it like look at all this we got some birch some fish just grab it all basically uh, use the axe to grab this and as you know pre-world you're gonna have some lag and I'm recording not recording editing a video right now in the YouTube thing so you know there's bound to be some lag but I am excited for this. I am truly excited and hoping that this series will go a lot better than the last series. And it looks like we're on a survival island. Okay. I did not know about this. Let's grab some stone. Okay. So we just want to get the basics down. I'm not going to do what I did in series one and, you know, do hour long episodes or whatever. I'm going to try and keep them to what I usually do and you know edit videos and do all that stuff so I'm gonna do that I want to get a pick done this is what I do fast I usually just go straight for the stone pick and then that's when I get all my tools okay what level are we on okay we're on wasn't even looking at the Y level 71 so we've got a while to go down so what I think instead of just going for a path down I'm gonna go for a 2x2 two two sort of path thing. So what I need is to go to this chest. Grab our axe. Let's get some wood. Let's grab, grab all this good wood. As you can see, we've got some lag. FPS isn't bad. And because it's on a survival world. A single player as well. Mob cap isn't going to be a problem. Okay, come on lag. Come on. Oh, so what difficulty is on? Okay, it needs to be on hard. And, uh... Okay, so it's got some lag. So I'm going to refresh the world later. So I can actually play this without lag like this. Come on. Uh, go for this tree next. This series, like I said, brand new start. And wow, I did not know about it. This is a great location. I don't know where the... And portal is. Not, not going to bother about that to a while because I want to get stuff actually set out. But we've got a guardian, a uh, sea temple over there, so that could be a potential build in the future. A guardian farm. Never done one of those. And I want to do, you know, all that crazy fun stuff that people do do in their own world. So I can have an ender ender. I want to have like a skeleton farm. Uh, with a skeleton farm, sorry. Okay, grab all this. Okay, now we can make ladders. So I want to make about, yeah, this should be a good amount. 30, oh, I'm going to need more than 30. Um, in fact, I'm just going to need like another, uh, 45 should do it for now. And then I can just tunnel it down. But what I want to do is basically just go get um, some ores. I want to do a quick mining session. Get all this started because I want to get an AFK fishing farm. Now last season I didn't get one of those set up in the time that I wanted to because I didn't know about the easy ones and oh my this lag. 
but there was like an easier one with a note block and all you needed was a couple blocks, a note block. It was like a really easy farm but I did not know about it until Survival State came along and learnt about it and it's a great farm, nice and cheap. Well actually, I used it first time in Survival State but saw Hermitcraft use it and uh, nice and cheap and it works the exact same as a normal fishing farm. So I'm going to go for that which is a uh, note block, iron door, um, one piece of redstone, you know, it's nice and cheap and it's what I want to go for. And Jesus lag. Hold on. I think I'm going to do a quick relog. See how that goes. Uh, so basically this season I want to basically do more of a fun approach. Um, for people who are wondering what sort of approaches that would be, it's not really going to be like a more like an approach I wanted to come along with the start, like going, you guys tell me what to build and that will be what I'm building. Because I find that slow for me in a way because I was relying on you guys to tell me what to build and it wasn't really working out and maybe this lag won't disappear as fast as I thought. Okay. Um, don't really know what to say anymore, you know, like I'm just running out of uh, things to say. Uh, in future you might see new little episodes just pop out of random but right now uh, Bendo Craft is on a Wednesday Australian time remember so for anyone who's American or Canadian or British, French, wherever you are, Bahamas, I just need to say that because I know that I see Caspian's from there and I needed to state that he's some, someone from the Bahamas or someone from Madagascar, wherever you are, wherever you watch this, Australians are usually one day ahead of you. Um, so basically when I say it's a Wednesday, it'd be a Tuesday for you. So for anyone who's around the same time as Australia, it'd be um, Monday Survival State, Wednesday's a Bendo Craft, and Friday's a Survival State. And for anyone who's not Australian, it'd basically be uh, your Sunday is a Survival State, a Tuesday is a Bendo Craft, and a Thursday is a Survival State. Seems weird for you guys, doesn't it? But that's just how it is. Um, if I haven't already said, I'm really excited for this series. I want it to be better. I'd also like if the lag could clear up. Thank you very much. Come on, you can do it. Let's just check what my... See, I don't think it's my FPS. It's not my FPS. It's just like general lag. Which I can understand. It's a new world. Is there any statistics on here that I can see how well it's going? I don't know. If anyone who's knows what any of this means, but like someone tell me how I can tell if I've got some sort of lag. Like I don't have a ping thing and I shall, should probably... Oh, yeah. I should probably run some commands like a command for death drop and uh, my death count and that stuff. So I, I'll definitely add that in. I'll do that on camera or off camera. I'll decide later. But I'm going to add that in so you guys can see my death count. And when we finish up the series, we can say like, oh wow, the death count was 20 deaths. I want to do better in Bendocraft series 3. That sort of stuff. Okay. Didn't actually have a look. Oh, I'm only at 40. See, this is the thing that happens when you have block lag. It makes it so much slower to destroy blocks and mine. Just waiting for this one to go. It's going to be a bugger. I feel bad for UHC players who just come onto the world and this is what it's like. And it's like this for a while. See, I'd be playing a UHC. Like, I want to play UHC. I'm looking forward to those things. And you'd be sitting here and you'd be like going, Hey, I'm mining. Oh, lag's cleared up. Yeah, for me, I'd be sitting here going, Oh, which this lag will go away. And there are some people who will just go, Oh, I'm used to this stuff. Oh, okay. Lag didn't go away for a while. Okay. Let's try that again. You don't want to get destroyed. Okay, 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 okay. I want to destroy you, so why don't you get destroyed? Thank you. Okay, so whereabouts are we? 
Kind of like a cave that I could have had. Is that a pig? Oh, it's granite. Okay, well, I want some coal, which is some here, and I've got one torch I can make. Perfect, isn't it? Pick up this coal when I can. Just chuck in my offhand, it'll be the easy way. Okay, so what I need to look for is some iron, some iron. I should probably get with this. All this coal, and I'll be back with you guys shortly once I've got basics. Okay, so not long after, like, really not long. Oh, nearly fell down. I've managed to smelt the iron, and I've managed to, you know, make a pick, make a shield, get some more torches, so we can actually do some more work now. So, let's just get clear away this, and I'll find a spot to mine it. See, there's stuff down here, so I can just go here. So I'm at Y level 32 and I've got to go down a bit. I've got to go down to 12 because that's the best place to go to when you're going to mine for diamonds. So, mining down quickly. Keep the F3 screen up. So we're breaking the pick. 26. 24, 23. So this is the best thing I lo uh, like about being able to do this sort of thing. We can get down really quickly. And then we can quickly go mine for diamonds, so go down some more. But I also want to find redstone as well. I want to find some redstone. I also need to get some farming done because, you know, food is a struggle to get. And hello, see, isn't this great that we had this? Look, found a lava lake. Um, okay, need to jump up. Yep, there we go. Okay. I just need to get this up here, and we're safe-ish. Now what I need to do is make a way down there, so we'll get rid of these blocks. Okay. See there's lava like underneath here we're going to see, more lava there, so what we want to do is mark it out, show there's dot, oh there's some lava there, we'll go down a bit more. What level are we on now? We're on 11. I just want to open up this lava lake. See what's here. Okay, it's this sort of lava lake. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is, you know, shift down. Just mine in one straight direction. And hope that it... See? More lava. See, this isn't a the greatest place to go mining now because there's lava everywhere and look more iron I'll pick that up thankfully uh, not thankfully I'll pick that up hap ha happily yeah. mixing up my words today been a long day no. okay grab all this what I'm looking for is redstone and diamonds so mine some more straight away there's some coal. I'll pick that up later on my way back. Got some granite. Okay, so what I'll do is basically once I find redstone, I want to get that AFK Fisher Farm fish farm set up. And oh, here we go. Look, redstone. Perfect. Just what I need. I'm gonna throw down some torches. Optifine basically does it for me, but I do need to light it up so mobs don't get in here. And now I'll grab some redstone. So when I get back up to the top, I can make an AFK fish farm. Okay, what level are we on? We're on 10. So we want to go one up. Mine these blocks away. Jump over. That did not work out as so I expected. Okay. There's a bat nearby. It's to the left. So I'm going to mine to the left a bit. See if we can pop it open and see where this cave is. So quickly mine up here. It sounds like it's like right ahead of us. There we go. Okay. Oh, lava. Okay then. I'm going to explore it and catch you guys shortly. Perfect. Just perfect. I die and lagging out. Probably going to crash. You know, that, and that was like just after I cut, like, there was a skeleton there as soon as I built a path down to that little cave area, and fighting the skeleton, 
and then all of a sudden, I had a zombie do one massive blow to me. Okay, so I'm going to take down the axe so I can actually attack it. Um, and basically, I'm going to hope for the best. Just checking that I am recording, you know. I always have to do that because I can see that people will get creeper. People get irritated if, you know, I'm, and myself included, if I'm recording a segment and I'm not actually recording it. Like, I hate recording and I'm not actually recording. It's happened to me a couple times. It's just not really great. And, I oh know, professional YouTubers do this. Uh, it's happened to Exuma. It's happened to... Mario is cow and oh okay I'm just gonna quickly jump out of here before I die. I'm gonna take my one death. I'll add that to the toll later. And I've lost Oh I lost the uh, the iron pick I made. And the redstone. Oh perfect. Let's see look at the lag I'm getting from this guy. Come on. Shoot again. Day two. I wouldn't mind finding a mob spawner. No sorry, I want to find one of those. Creeper. Get some crits in. Oh, bad idea getting this close. Okay, at least I have my shield. Okay, let's check around here. More creepers. Granite. Okay, I want to get... I don't want to die. And I want to get this. Okay, I'm going to go get stuff back and I'll see you guys shortly again. And hopefully I won't die this time. Okay, see you soon then, I guess. Okay, we are back. And zombie groaning. Have not died since. I'm happy about that. Just going to twist and turn and come to this cave. I didn't bring torches, which is stupid of me. Nor building blocks, but I have got a pick back and I've lit up the iron back at the top a bit what I need to do is grab that redstone and get out of there because I want to get this uh, farm done like I, uh, as soon as possible uh, possible that I can as soon as I can so uh, let's hope I don't get shot while doing this just want to get my pick and there we go got some redstone already I'm just going to grab that for now grab the rest another day but jump up and head back up. Now this tutorial is by uh, Z Panda, I think his name is. Um, it's basically a note block at the back, an iron door in front of that. I'll just build it with you guys so you guys can see it. And uh, I'll work on that, get up there and I'll be back with you guys shortly. Yeah, I've got a lot of cuts in this, won't I? Okay, so we will get started on this farm, and I've just realised I've chucked in the chest. So what we need to do is, if I can remember how to build the farm correctly, which I cannot, hold on, I know I need the iron door, put it like that. Okay, then I believe we've got the hopper, which we'll just put that there. Put it in like that. Let's hope I'm building this right because I'd hate to have to build it again. Okay, chuck that in there. Chuck that on there. And that's the water. What we need to do then is to grab this and chuck the note block there. So we'll make those sounds when I when we're fishing. Uh, that there, that there. So we can cast our rod. Uh, then what we need to do is another block there and over here, another block here. Destroy these blocks so there's an air block in between. Okay, now we need to put these blocks on here and, ooh, if I, yeah, I've done this right. Yeah, and that's basically the farm. What we need now is a water source in here. Grab the cobble out and look. 
No sounds now. Water source in here. Tripwire hook, tripwire hook. And a water source. And we're ready. So we'll grab this. One, two, three. And a tripwire hook, isn't it? Let's see if I can remember the recipe on camera. Is it that? Or something like that. And... Oh, spider. Just what I need. For string. And I did not get any. Okay then. Um, that's disappointing. Let's try this again. Maybe like this. People are probably just sitting here and smacking their heads or something. Okay, I'm going to have to look at the recipe for that. Did die from a creeper hole earlier, which annoyed me. But, you know, that happens. Okay, go grab a water source. There we go. Chuck it in. Just run over here. So now I do have an AFK Fisher. Uh, this is heading off into this block, which is... We could head it off into a di different direction later. But um, I do need this, actually. I need to get a chest. So we'll quickly grab these, and I'll be back once I've got it fixed. And welcome back all, you might be able to hear it, we've got some music going on now. I realised that, it was just tampering with this sound, I realised that in this video I actually forgot to turn on the music. So we've got it back now, as you can see. We finished the fish farm, so we've got a system of some sort, so storage sort of thing, so when we go AFK fishing, we can actually fish. I've got a new texture pack, which has made this transparent. I've done the kill count, so there's two deaths right there, and I've added in something a little bit extra. We've got the loot table effect. So those who watch Hermitcraft, like I do, You'd know that we that on Hermitcraft Season 5, they've got a twist where, where you kill mob, mobs. You get, a, you get a small chance of getting their head. Well, I've added that in. So now I kill mobs. Like if I kill these animals on this island, I have this very little chance. But like, with looting, it makes it uh, go up more. I'll set up a link to the website where um, we can do that. Going on with the texture pack, and it was set up by... Sorry. We'll tamp it up with my mind. Exumavoid and two people from New Zealand, can't remember their names, that they made this uh, this loot table effect. So good on them. But what I want to do now is since that we've got the farm up already, I want to kind of find a sort of a a uh, what are they called? Oh, can't remember anything now. I want to find um, a spawner. I'm sure there's one around here somewhere. I'll do some mining for a bit. And go look for a spawner. I'll just cut here and get back to you guys once I've found a spawner. See you soon then. Okay, so we are back and you're probably wondering, Bendo, what are you doing underwater? Well, I saw earlier... Oh, whoops. Stuff that up. I saw earlier zombie groans in my... Um, subtitles and I want to go check it out so I'm just gonna mine down and see if I can spot anything down here and hopefully not die put that in there so I got breathing room there we go okay so now I can actually mine down properly so you can hear it too like zombie groans sounds like it's coming from this direction so we'll mine in a direction like this We'll just check it out, see if anything's here. Let's see. Yeah, it gets louder. So I'm on Y level 31. Let's see. Oh, look. See, look, couple. We found couple. So we have found one. Just realised I forgot to play the music. Okay. There we go. So let's quickly break in. And... Hello. Hi guys, how you going? Look, I... I can farm these guys now. Oh, he's going to iron sword. Let's try and kill these guys. Without killing ourselves, obviously. 
Come on. Nearly got him. Two more to go. Oh, fair now. Okay. Only these two. And less of common too. So obviously I want to make a sort of farm setup. Because I can, like, you know, grind XP. I can get zombies, you know. Just the basic stuff that you do with a grinder. And possibly farm for heads. Let's see what's in these chests. Oh, look, see? There we go. Look. I'm out. See, that, that's in the loot table, so I can randomly find these as well. So we got Rotten Flesh. Uh, pretty good stuff in there. So good stuff in here. Since that we're surrounded by ocean, this is like some pretty good stuff. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so what I want to do is obviously turn this into a mob farm. But there might be another one around here. So what I'm going to do is mine off in a direction a little bit. See if I can find another spawner. Because obviously you'd want to have like a dual one. There might not be, there might be. It's just a little bit of a risk I'm taking. But... I've seen people who do this, they've gone out and mined for a bit, like it's mine at the same time, to go look for a spawner around another one and they found one. So, I'm just gonna go find one, hopefully. I'll be back with you guys shortly. Okay, retrieved everything, that wasn't so long, forgot to play the music, goodness. My recording system is great, I said that many times, and let's just check this quickly. No, nah, not much in here. Good stuff, but not what I wanted it exactly. I wanted to play it. Anyway, but my editing software isn't the greatest, and you know, playing music in the background, I, I could try to learn. Like, I've, I have been trying to find out a way to do it. But anyway, um, I'm gonna getting distracted, I'm just gonna quickly say this. I'll make a farm out of this next episode, because that's not really this episode. But that is something to see soon, and definitely do. Um, anyway, as I was saying, so I have to play the music on my computer. I could possibly do it on my phone, that'd probably be the smarter option. Um, it allows me to, you know, I want to get this head off. It allows me to give some tunes while you guys are watching this. So it's not all just boring bendo talk stuff. But I do have to play it and I use uh, on the survival state I usually just leave it playing all the time. But then like don't know no one's really complained about it. But it might have some parts where it's not the same part because I've cut scenes and that stuff. And here we go. We have another distraction for me. Get rid of this water, not die, and to make a tunnel out. Okay, good enough for me. I'll return to this in future and do something else. But in this series, like I've said before, I want to kind of make automatic sort of stuff. So like right here, perfect space for a squid farm, but yet I'm surrounded by an ocean, so squid will spawn here anyway. So in future, I want to go find a desert for my squid farm, that sort of stuff. It's night time. Okay. But this episode is going to be short because I've got other stuff to be doing. You know, recording more stuff. But that's basically it for today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I'm going to do some life baiting. If you guys really enjoy this episode, a bit short, I know. I haven't actually seen the time that I've done for this episode, so I don't know if this is short or not, if it's a 20 minute video, but. Enough chitter chatter. If you guys really enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. It really supports me and my channel. Helps it grow so you guys can see me do better stuff. Um, if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribing button. Become a life baiter and that stuff now. I'm not going to be doing click baiting, but enough of that. Hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. I know I did. It's good to see Bendo Craft come back. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.